Welcome to the Figure Zone. Check out these awesome figures shipping now. Gong Toys. Kingdom Come, Superman, and Shazam. Then we have Los Cont, Phantom Blade, Sheeran, Violet, and Sentinel, Riobot, Dijenguar, Xess Ray Studio, Roman Legion, Centurion, and Flagbearer. Kayo, though, Revel Tech Woody 2.0. We got a bunch of Bandai spirits here. We've got SHF Yasuki Urameshi and Kamen Rider Spectre Drive Type Reissue Brave Quest Ghost One Damashi X Aid Mock. And then we also have Hajime Saito. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. Kaiyolo, Nozaka of the Valley of the Wind. Takeya Style K2046 Horse Claw. Reissue. Quarter 2 of 2025 and 125 books. 6.7 inches tall. 41 points of articulation. You got a sword, a sheath, and a bunch of waste parts for a soldier dude. Kotobukiya. Frame Arms Girl. Izumo model kits, quarter one of 2025 and 95 books. 6.9 inches tall. She got some swappable faceplates, extra hands, rifle, and some customizable armor pieces that looks like it's a mother freaking aircraft carrier with some jets. That's pretty freaking awesome. This is definitely a unique figure, and she does look pretty cool with armor or without the armor. And of course, to keep in mind, this is a small plastic action figure. So no swabbing the poop deck or this can happen to you. You broke your penis. Neca Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Commando Elvira, clothed figure. Quarter one of 2025 and 40 bucks. Based on the 1988 movie, she is eight inches tall. Swappable faceplates, spellbook, dagger, bazooka, and also a stud. And as always, you could never have enough Elvira figures in your display. Make an Elvira army. Mezco's got a bunch of Batman 1989 5.3.75 inch series stuff going on here. All are April of 2025. There's a set of three figures for 60 bucks. You get Batman. The Joker and Bob the Goon, all in their cool retro packaging. And there's also the Batmobile for 50 bucks. Lots of features and an armored shield cover piece. Plus a deluxe set for 110 bucks. And you get all three figures and the motherfucking Batmobile. Cool looking figures. They're only five points of articulation, but they look great. It's Star Wars time. We've got three Hasbro Black Series figures, all quarter one of 2025 and 25 bucks each. We got Princess Leia Oregana, Luke Skywalker before he drank green milk out of some dude's nips on a planet. Or is it his junk? I don't know if this course. And Dagon Gera. Square Enix Xenogears form is some act. Well, tall? Quarter two of 2025 and 370 freaking dollars. 7.9 inches tall. You got some die cast parts, extra hands, and $370. Max Factory Heavily Armed High School Girls Plamex Ichi Early Version Model Kit. Quarter two of 2025 and 77 bucks. She is 6.3 inches tall. She's got some swappable faceplates, extra hands, and you get a freaking ton of weapons with her. So she's got some cool looks. She's got her mask going on and no mask. I like the swords. Very nice. And I really do like those freaking green eyes. Those look really freaking cool. You have come to seek me out with your green eyes. Kochibukiya, Megami Device, Azra Tamamo, No, Mei Utage, Model Kit, Quarter 1 of 2025 and 50 bucks, 5.5 inches tall, you've got some swappable faceplates, some extra hands, removable armor, 
accessories and some weapons. And you can use the armor from the other figures in the series to make some cool custom figures. Or just keep the armor off because this figure looks pretty cool without it there. It's got like a tail going on too, so that's pretty interesting. Very cool. I like it. We have two. Toys. Contra Operation Galuga 112 scale PX previews exclusives. Both are quarter two of 2025 and 50 bucks each. You got Lance Beam, 6.2 inches tall, extra hands, a capsule, H and F symbols, weapons, effects pieces, and a stud. Then there's Bill Rizzer, 6.2 inches tall. He's got some extra hands, the capsule also, S and C symbols. Weapons, effects parts, and a stud. These both look cool and they look like they're straight out of the freaking video game. Very nice job on these. Now there's still plenty more figures left in the video, but if you're enjoying it so far, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to stay updated with the latest action figure releases, hit that subscribe and bell notification button. If you like saving money on action figures, use my giant toy and other links in the description below. Free motherfucking shipping and my trusted overseas sellers. You can also help out the channel by using my Sideshow Collectibles link. Any purchase or pre-order through that link helps me out big time. If you guys use the links, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. And a shout out to Jesse, Lead Better, Todd Klein, Umit Kabul, Samuel Morales, and Christopher Marley. You guys are mother freaking awesome. And for my favorite statue of the day, Absinthe Studio, one quarter scale, Azor Lane, Shinano aircraft carrier, whatever that means. Quarter four of 2025, and not quite sure the price. Limited to 188 pieces, 15.75 inches tall. You got two versions a standard version, then there's also a birthday suit body version. Some places offer a deluxe set that comes with both of the statues. The detail is crazy awesome, both look amazing. She gets the Al Bundy, seal of approval. Storm Collectibles, the King of Fighters, 98, 112 scale, ultimate match, Joe Higashi. Quarter two of 2025 and 90 bucks. Now he's only got three head sculpts, some extra hands, and a hurricane effects piece. Looks great. They are keeping the prices low on these guys, considering so much stuff has gone up in price recently. So, yeah. 90 bucks, that's not too bad. Kayodo, Street Fighter 6, Amazing Yamaguchi, Reveltech, NR065, Judy. Quarter 3 of 2025 and 115 bucks. Now she is 6.3 inches tall. She's got some swappable faceplates, plus a bonus Chun Li faceplate to put on the figure if you have her. Some extra hands, a phone. Attack effects pieces and also a stand. Great looking figure. Totally digging on this one. I like the effects pieces also. And you get a bonus freaking faceplate. Keep the bonus stuff a coming. Mezco Deadpool and Wolverine 112 Collective Deluxe Edition Deadpool. Quarter two of 2025 and 100 bucks. 6.7 inches tall. You got some swappable magnetic eye pieces, extra hands, a real fabric suit. You get a mug, some weapons. You get the cool dog pool and a stud. They did a great job on him. Little dog pool looks pretty freaking cool. This is a great figure, and I keep mentioning prices. This is a hundred bucks. If you get the SHF figure, of this it's around the same price. So I think this is ten thousand times better. Yes, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this figure and the other figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? Also, check out the description below for some more cool links down there. And if you want to see some more action figure or awesomeness, check out that video to the left that YouTube recommends or the playlist to the right loaded with more motherfucking figures you do not want to miss out on. Thanks so much for watching. Till next video.